Hey everyone, welcome to class. Today's flow is all dedicated to helping eliminate or at least reduce low back tightness. So whether you spend a lot of the day sitting, you sleep in awkward positions, you carry heavy bags or heavy children, or you just are stressed and a lot of that manifests in low back pain, this is a great class to help remedy that. And one that you can easily go back to multiple times in the week uh, as you need it. So keep it in your back pocket and uh, know that it's there for you as you need it. We're gonna be using a strap or something that you can use as a strap, a towel or a belt, anything like that, and a block, which is totally optional, but it's useful if you have it. So just keep it nearby and we'll use it towards the end. Um, and otherwise we're gonna begin on our back. Have your strap within arm's reach because we'll be using that first. So flip it on over, lie down and plant your feet on the floor, let, letting the knees drop in towards the midline. So here we're gonna start with just a few easy pelvic tilts. So walk the feet in pretty close to the hips and let the knees touch each other right in the center, like in the midline of the body. So the lower half is supported. You feel like you can kind of lay here all day. You feel pretty, uh, pretty chill. You can take the hands to the upper thighs or keep them down on the floor. I personally prefer to press my hands into the, the upper part of the leg just because it gives some, some feedback for what we're about to do. So on your exhale, you're gonna draw the navel toward the spine and scoop the tailbone up towards the sky. So here it's like you're pressing the arch of the low back down into the floor and then release it back to neutral. We're gonna do that several times. So just keep going at your own pace, press into the thighs and then scoop the tailbone under a little bit so that the lower back presses into the floor and then let it come back to neutral. We'll do a few more rounds. So I want you to note that this should not feel like bearing down on the pelvic floor. So you don't wanna like push the stomach down. <laughs> you wanna just gently draw the belly in so that you have a stable base and then scoop the tailbone under. So it's just a very light pressure, the low back on the floor and bring it back to neutral. It also gives you that feedback to notice what neutral feels like and what scooping the tailbone under feels like, right? Which is very helpful just in your everyday posture. Let's do two more like that. So if you're wondering where should I be feeling this, you're not gonna be feeling a lot, you know, in terms of like a burn or a stretch or anything like that. This is just to get us into a neutral place. One more time. Scoop it under, belly moves back a little bit and then release. So now we're gonna take the strap and we're gonna start on the left side. Just lasso that left foot. Keep the right knee bent. I know, I know you might have the, the urge to just straighten that right leg right away, but don't, don't do it yet. Keep the left leg straight and start to hug it in towards you so you feel that immediate lengthening or stretchy sensation in the hamstring on the left side. And this should feel moderately intense. Nothing too crazy that you can't sustain it. Just enough that you feel it and that's enough. We're gonna take five slow deep breaths. Maybe bring it in a little bit closer. Take one more breath in. And then take both ends of the strap to the left hand and just uh, take the left leg over to the left halfway. Don't let it come all the way down to the floor. You wanna keep some tension in the leg and now straighten the right leg out. So you have this anchor down on the ground. And if you have the mobility, the flexibility, you can take the left elbow down to the mat and hold the both ends of your strap in your hand like that. Now slowly bring the left leg back in towards the middle and then grab both ends with the right hand. Take the left arm out to the side and drop the left leg to the right. Just if you're looking at a clock, right? Straight up ahead as 12. Drop the left leg just to two o'clock max. No further than that. Mm. 
and slowly take it back to the center. Unhook that foot, take it down, and let's switch sides. So now lasso the right foot, hold on to it, keep the left knee bent. Again, keep that one, just resist the temptation to take it further <laughs> and draw the right toes down towards uh, the forehead. All you're looking for is that, that feedback that, ah, yes, it's stretching and hold right there. No need to take it any further, further or make it any more intense than that right now. If you start to shake in the right leg, back off a little bit. Take two more breaths. And now hand both ends of the strap to the right hand and let the leg drop to the right, not all the way down to the ground. You wanna maintain some tension here, but if you have it, you can prop the right elbow up on your mat and just keep, uh, keep both ends of the strap in your hand. And now you can extend the left leg out because that'll help you stay stable. And activate the left butt cheek. So that again, you stay um, firm on the ground. That'll help you from like tipping over to one side. <laughs> Take two more breaths. And slowly come back to the center. Hand both ends of the strap to the left hand. And now looking at that imaginary clock, tick the right leg over to maximum 10 o'clock. No further than that. And you can be at 11 o'clock or just two minutes before 12. <laughs> All you're looking for is that feedback that, oh yes, there's the stretch and that is enough. Take two more breaths. And bring it back to the center. Move your strap away from you, bend both knees, or bend the right knee actually. So now what I want you to do is pull the right knee in toward the chest and plant the foot on top of the left thigh. So it's just resting there, nothing fancy or anything. And then just take the left hand and guide that knee over to the left. So you might feel like, ooh, this is intense. And if that's the case, take your block and put it underneath the right knee so you have somewhere for it to land where it doesn't have to go all the way to the floor. Totally optional, again. It's just, if you feel like you need it, take the option. Keep that right shoulder down on the floor. Chest is square facing the ceiling. <clears throat> Inhale, back to the center. Let's switch sides. So extend the right leg out. Take the left foot, plant the heel on top of that thigh, and then bring the right hand to the left thigh and guide it over to the right. Once again, if you feel like it's a bit intense, bring a block underneath the left, uh, the left knee. Inhale, come back to the center. Pull both knees in toward the chest and let's find happy baby. So reach for the outsides of the feet, bend the knees and bring them down like you're trying to bring them down towards the armpits. Lower back stays down against the floor. So you're pressing the lower back into the mat, keeping the heels stacked over the knees. Breathe. Bring the feet together, knees together, rock up. We're gonna take a few rounds of cat-cow at your own pace, uh, however it feels right and comfortable for you. So wrists stack under the shoulders, knees under the hips, 
And then again, at your own pace, rounding through the back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round, especially focusing on creating space between the shoulder blades. Inhale. Let's do one more each way. And then sit back on the heels. Here's where you have your option to either sit up on the block or you can just sit flat on the floor. But the thing that I like about sitting on a block is that it elevates the pelvis to be higher than the knees, which when sitting down is just much easier on the lower back. So elevate your hips if you can. Relax the shoulders and just shimmy around a little bit until you feel neutral again. Sitting up tall. Shoulders are down and back. Neck is neutral. Take one more round of breath. Bring the hands up to the heart center. Let the eyes blink open. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope your back feels so much better. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Let me know how this one felt in the comments below. As usual, if you enjoyed this, be sure to head over to Bad Yogi Studio where you can find the full 30 day version of this challenge inside. There's over 350 classes inside Bad Yogi Studio from ones that'll make you sweat to ones that'll just ground and relax you and literally everything in between. So be sure to check it out. Anyway, that's all for today. Be sure to join me right back here for tomorrow's class and I'll see you then.